Welcome to a journey through time along the banks of the Los Angeles River, a waterway that has played a vital role in the history and development of the City of Angels. Our story begins with the indigenous people of this land, the Tongva, who lived along the river's banks for centuries. They recognized the river as a life-giving force, a source of sustenance, and a vital component of their daily existence. The Tongva people lived in harmony with the river's rhythms, understanding its seasonal flows and adapting to its changing moods. They skillfully rerouted the natural flow of the river to maximize agricultural yields, constructing ingenious water wheels along its banks. This resourcefulness allowed them to flourish in an otherwise arid landscape. The Los Angeles River wasn't just a source of practicality for the Tongva. It held profound cultural and spiritual significance. However, this harmonious relationship with the river would soon change with the arrival of European settlers in the 18th century. As the Spaniards made their way to this region in 1769, they encountered the Tongva people and their flourishing village of Yangna. This encounter marked the beginning of a transformative period in the history of the Los Angeles River. Eventually, the Tongva were relocated to the east side of the river, and Yangna itself would be destroyed in the mid-1800s. The river's significance evolved as European settlers began to harness its waters for their growing pueblo, which would later become the city of Los Angeles. In the early days, the Los Angeles River flowed with untamed natural grace, following the whims of the seasons and the rhythms of nature. This natural behavior of the river, while awe-inspiring, could also bring about moments of catastrophe. Los Angeles County is a semi-arid region, receiving less than 15 inches of rain per year on average. However, the surrounding mountainous areas experienced rainfall in excess of 40 inches annually. When these mountain streams converged into the Los Angeles River, it unleashed a formidable power. California, land of sunshine. Hollywood and Los Angeles reputed to have the most perfect climate. Now a dreary waste of mud and water as a result of this. The result was a recipe for flash floods during the winter months when precipitation was most common. The river's rapid descent from headwater elevations of nearly 1,000 feet to zero feet above sea level in just 50 miles meant that millions of gallons of water could surge through its course in a matter of hours. Historical records bear witness to the river's fury, with a total of 17 floods recorded between 1815 and 1938. These devastating events prompted the urgent need for flood control measures. As the population in the area grew, so did the risks associated with the unpredictable nature of the river. The 1930s marked a critical turning point in the history of the Los Angeles River. In response to the recurrent flooding problems, the Los Angeles County Flood Control District was formed in 1934. Early flood control efforts included channelization projects, but the scale of the challenge required federal assistance. The Flood Control District sought federal aid through the Works Progress Administration, WPA, a government program created during the Great Depression. The WPA agreed to provide funding for dam and channel construction on the condition that 90% of laborers be hired from the agency's relief roles. Within a year, the Flood Control District grew from a small team of 15 people to a workforce of 17,000, with 95% of its laborers hired from federal unemployment roles. The swift expansion allowed for the initiation of ambitious flood control projects along the Los Angeles, Rio Hondo, and San Gabriel Rivers. Construction on these projects began in 1938, marking the start of the river's transformation. The Los Angeles River, which had once flowed freely and erratically through its natural course, was gradually encased in concrete. The channelization aimed to provide a controlled path for the river's flow and mitigate the risk of devastating floods. Over the next two decades, 14 dams were constructed with 31 separate contracts awarded to 14 contractors. These projects involved moving over 20 million cubic yards of earth. 
pouring more than 2 million cubic yards of concrete, placing nearly 150 million pounds of reinforced steel, and setting 460,000 tons of grouted stone slope protection. However, the urgency of flood control was underscored by the devastating flood of 1938, which caused $78 million in damage, equivalent to $1.62 billion in 2023, and a death toll exceeding 100 people. This catastrophe prompted Congress to pass the Flood Control Act of 1938, providing additional funding for what would later be known as the Los Angeles County Drainage Area. The environmental repercussions of channelization were equally profound. The transformation of the natural riverbed into a concrete trapezoidal channel in 1938 led to the extinction of native fish species that had once thrived in the Los Angeles River. The last known native species to be caught in the river was a rainbow trout in 1940 marking the end of an era for these aquatic inhabitants. The environmental impact extended beyond fish populations. Mammals such as the California golden bear and gray wolf, which once inhabited the river's ecosystem, were removed from the region in the late 19th century. The transformation of the Los Angeles River was a complex process with far-reaching consequences. It not only reshaped the physical landscape, but also the social fabric of the region. As we look ahead, we are reminded of the river's historical significance. From the native Tongva communities that once thrived here, to the Spanish explorers who gave it its name. It's a living tapestry of cultures, stories, and possibilities.